In this video, we will learn how to restore your USB drive to its full original capacity. Many people face this issue after using a USB drive to create bootable media, so why this happen? Before we jump into the solution, let's understand why USB drive may be showing less space than it actually is. So, when using programs like Rufus, Edgehead, Ventoy, or even using the Windows Media Creation 2 to build a Windows file. This software created special partitions and modified the file system. As a result, the Windows may not recognize all the available space. For example, if you have a 3T USB drive JB, after using it to create a Windows installer or Linux distribution, it might show only 4 GB or 8 GB available because of the rest of the space is either hidden or formatted in a file system that the Windows does not de detect. Don't worry, let's now restore the USB drive to its original size. So the method number one is using the Windows Disk Management. So the first thing you have to do is connect the USB drive to your computer or laptop. Now press the Windows Plus R on your keyboard to open the run window. Type disk mgmt.msc and press enter and this will open the Windows Disk Management. Here you see all the storage devices that are connected to your computer including your USB drive. If you remember my USB drive is a disk 5 you can see that by the GB that is available you of course know how much GB are your pen drive so you have to, you, you gotta know right right here now pay attention if your drive USB appears with an unallocated space it means that the partitions have been deleted if it shows less total space than the original we need to delete all the partitions to recover the full storage so let's suppose here my, my pen drive is 64 or 62 I don't remember very well but here it's showing 5.7 fi uh, which is very common because the Windows itself the pen drive itself gets a little bit of GB and that is not the problem the problem is when you buy a 62 pen drive GB and it only gets 32 or 8 or 4 do you know what I mean? So. If it's less space than the original, we need to delete all the partitions to recover the full storage. So if that's happening, you, there will be a lot of partitions right here. So you click in the one, delete volume, go on. Continue on legs, only one, and you just, you the, and there will be la, the unallocated space, okay? So let's suppose that happened, okay? And when it's finished, you go on the unallocated one, click the right button, and go to an option called New Simple Volume. You can follow all the instructions, all the instructions, choosing FAT32 or NTFTS format. Okay. Once the process is complete, check if, if the USB drive has returned to its full original size if not let's move to uh, advanced method using the command prompt okay if the previous method did not work we will now use a more advanced tool called disk port so open the command prompt to do that let's go on windows and write cmd here on command prompt you're gonna click the right button go on run as administrated once the command prompt is open, type the following command and press enter, okay? Disk part. And now, disk space list. Pardon, <laughs> actually you're gonna write list space disk. Here there you show uh, all the disks that are connected to your computer. Find the USB drive by checking the size shown in the table. So be careful to not select the wrong disk, okay? For me, like I say, it's disk 5. Now you're going to do like that. 
you're gonna select the disk you're gonna write select space disk space the number of the disk my number is number 5 so I'm gonna write the number 5 and now it's saying to the disk 5 is now the selected disk right now you're going to click to write clean to clean the drive this will complete erase all the partitions on the USB drive and the step number 3 of that is create a new partition and how you are gonna do that you're gonna go back to Windows Plus R write disk mgmt.msc click OK and now you're going to see that there right here is going on unallocated so click with the right button go on new simple volume go on next here you're going to see the old space available for me it's this one so I'm gonna write this one click next here you can you can assign the following drive letters so you can choose for me it, it doesn't really make any difference so I'm going next here we are going to select NFTS or XFAT allocation need size going default on volume label you're going to write your the name of your pen drive I'm going to put my pen drive right here go on next and finish now we are going to wait a little bit it's already saying that it's okay with my pen drive right here it's already showing up with all the GB located so now you know how to restore your USB drive to its full original capacity if this video helped you don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel turn on notifications so you don't miss more helpful tips like this